On October 4th, 1957, history was forever changed as Sputnik, the first man-made satellite, launched into space. This great feat launched mankind into a new era of exploration and discovery. Man had always looked up into the heavens and pondered what was out there, what was beyond our reach. But now there is a whole new frontier, questions to be asked, discoveries to be made. We set our sights on exploring the universe and race to get there. Like we have always done in our past, curiosity propelled us forward to launching ourselves into hostile and alien environments. We had so many questions that we wanted to answer, new problems that we had to overcome. All we could do was throw ourselves out there, hope for the best, learn from our mistakes, and then try again. With each new question answered, ten more would arise, so we'd launch even more and more satellites into space. Although this was effective enough to make us content, there were unforeseen consequences to come. In order to launch an object into space, you need a tremendous amount of energy to do so, and energy isn't free. The reason why satellites and rockets cost millions and millions of dollars is because of the sheer size and amount of material and propellant needed to launch an object into orbit. For each kilogram of mass of a satellite, you need just that much more propellant to have sufficient energy to get it up there. On average, over half the budget for any satellite mission is reserved for the launch vehicle alone. Now once we get up into orbit, there are virtually no forces to bring it back down. Most satellites would take decades or centuries to eventually fall back to Earth. Therefore, if we wanted to bring it down ourselves, we would need to use fuel. More fuel means more mass. More mass means more propellant. More propellant means more money. There was never any reason to bring back dead satellites. They would burn up in the atmosphere before it ever reached the surface, so there was never anything we could learn from them or salvage. So instead, when a satellite dies, it is just left up there to orbit forever on its own. As the years went on, more and more satellites were launched into space. Although extremely small in size and relation, their numbers grew from hundreds to thousands of objects orbiting around our Earth, and things started to become polluted. In the beginning, it was easy to avoid everything. We could manage keeping track of where everything was, and we had developed better rockets capable of getting us closer to where we wanted and more accurately. But space debris was always a big concern. The reason why satellites don't fall back to Earth while in orbit is because they are moving at such high velocity. They are moving so fast that they are traveling further horizontally than they are falling downwards. They are stuck in an infinite circular freefall around our spherical planet. So when two objects moving this fast collide, it is like two speeding cars crashing head on, but with more than ten times greater the force. Two objects now become millions of smaller objects, still moving extremely fast and deadly to other satellites but now significantly smaller and harder to track. We have been launching satellites for over 50 years now, and space has become very polluted with debris. We have been so carefree about what we did with our trash, we have now created a bigger problem for ourselves. The governments and aerospace communities are aware of this issue now, and have taken action by instating new regulations to help further stop the pollution by requiring all satellites to deorbit within 25 years after its lifetime. But this is only the beginning step. We need to work together to find solutions to clean up the debris around our planet so we may continue with our science and exploration. With the resources on Earth being limited, we will eventually be looking towards the stars to find new ones, but we must first learn to protect and live within the means of what we have now. Space is one of the few treasures for all of mankind left, but that means we, as a whole, must work together to maintain it.